Hey guys, welcome back to HTC Recharged. We are at the final stage. Our finalists are TSM Trump and New Guri, all the way from the qualifying bracket. Pretty crazy stuff. Uh, New Guri, uh, we kept mentioning that is the last player to be running the three powerful decks, and uh, they're kind of working out for him, but uh, not so much for about half the participants in this tournament. Um, some differences between their decks, though. Nuguri is coming in with the what is it here? Zura. Warrior. Yeah. And he's got the warrior, and Trump's got the shaman. And the warlocks are a little bit different. That's right. And uh, I think there are some differences in hunters as well. Um, Trump is running more of a mid-range hunter with Hunt Masters, and Nuguri is playing the hybrid with Leper Gnome uh, and the Hymens combined. But uh, such a cool matchup. Like we have Trump. From uh, from TSM, a sponsored HTC sponsored player in the final already, and Nogori coming for the open qualifiers, and you know in HTC one we didn't have any uh, qualified players. We had a full invitational. We opened up uh, because uh, there was community wanted to have some open spots, and Nogori was one of the guys who actually went through uh, from South Korea, and uh, he's facing Trump here in the final. This is his big moment. For Trump, it's a big moment as well because he, yeah. I believe, he never won a tournament, and now he's really close to winning one. Uh, Trump has to have won something by now. I actually know, like, one week after Hearthstone came out, uh, it was, like, maybe actually the first tournament, and uh, Trump knocked me out in that one in, like, the semifinals or something. Pretty good. And, and he won that one. So he's won at least that one. Right? Okay, okay. So he has one tournament under his belt, but... The he's won probably more than one. Okay, okay. But, yeah. It's always good to win. They are playing for uh, 5000 bucks. goes to first place, uh, 2500 to second place, so a difference of 2500 bucks. Pretty nice. But uh, in the end, people remember the winners, uh, even though Hearthstone is a game where it's really about how well you do overall. Any one specific game is, uh, you know, dominated by RNG. The overall um, performance you know, over many months, over many, many, many games is what people really care about. So, yeah, some players have proved themselves already, and Trump is one of those. Yeah, that's that's for sure. Uh, so with the matchups you mentioned, there are some differences. Let's see who has an edge, actually. Uh, Trump is running his trusty Mech Shaman that actually worked for him before. Uh, mm -hmm. The Oligos Warlock, a very interesting build. Uh, Mike work. versus Warrior. And then Hunter Hunter is uh, mm -hmm. probably favoring Nugori because he has a faster version. Slightly faster, yeah. Any explosive trap is a really big deal. I mean, the explosive trap is literally the single card that allow him to get to the finals. Gar That's would not true. have won if explosive trap was not in the deck. It did stop. Or Gar, Gar would have won if if explosive trap wasn't in the deck. Yeah. Yeah, uh, agree there. Stuff. I think like overall, um, it is an even matchup with. Um, it really will depend like what cues into what, but uh, I don't see any any specific deck that's going to lose versus other lineup. Mm -hmm. I think there is a fair chance. Zoo Zoo can win versus most of the of, the, of those decks, so we'll I feel see. like the, the Shaman deck is actually a strong one in this case, with the hunter being so quick, uh, and with the Grim Patron Warrior often being so slow, the Shaman can just, just totally roll over those two decks. Yeah, just get an easy win with Shaman. That's uh, that's important. You want every win you can get. Mm -hmm. uh, the players have queued up with Warlock versus Warlock. That will be our opening game. Uh, again, they're not playing the same type of Warlock deck. Uh, Trump has the Dragonlock and Nuguri. He's running the uh, the Zoo yeah. Demonish thing, right? Yeah, that's true. Um, so Zoo with standard Voiters, and um, I think he was running Sea Giant as well. Do you remember if he had one? I know Dog was running Sea Giant, wasn't he? Dog was playing a hand But Dog wasn't even playing. Yeah, okay, right, right. right. Who was he playing? He had Giants. Zele, Zele was playing Sea Giant. Yeah, that's true. I yeah, think Zele somebody somebody actually had this uh, build with Sea Giant and Hopi Creepers. Um, but I'm not sure. They're definitely, we can uh, evaluate this match as just Malaga's deck, like um, the Dragon mm -hmm. Warlock versus the Zoo. And I think Malaga's deck has an edge. Yeah, I think so too. I think so too. All right, well, uh, let's get into the game here. We have the Zoo player going second with a lot of one drops and a silence. We have Trump on Dragonlock. 
going first with not the best of hands, but still pretty good. Abusive Sergeant, very flexible card, allows him to play it as a one drop just to uh, contest whatever's played here. I think we're just probably going to go with the uh, Void Walker that's eventually going to get Dark Bombed. So for now, it seems that Zoo uh, has a, a good opening, as you said, and will be able to deal some damage. Trump needs to pick up some more removal and, uh, and big minions as well. Implosion will be important, but um, it will be good for him if he gets an Imp Gang boss that's uh, amazing versus Zoo. Mm -hmm. or Twilight Drake even, um, Corruptor. Because if Zoo is too aggressive, it might actually enable some amazing plays. Like mostly when I win this matchup as a Zoo player, I do get Implosion, and then I get Malganis from the Void uh, Caller. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm just too aggressive for the Malagos Warlock to come back. Uh, but overall, I think Malagos Warlock has an edge. You have Trump is running double hole fire, which is important, and he picks up the Gang Boss. Uh, turn too late, but it's still a, a nice card. Hmm. What do you think that play is here? Do you think you play the Imp Gang Boss on the Soul Fire or the, uh, the Implosion on? Okay, I guess. Implosion. Implosion. Yeah. Is it that obvious? Oh, four. Uh, yes, yeah, four is amazing, and I think that was kind of obvious. Uh, oh, Sea Giant! Oh my God, four punishes. What is happening? <laughs> Look at Trump's face. He's running double BGH. Can he top that one? Not really. But that's a dragon, so he enabled the Corruptor now. Yeah, I don't think he needs to try to go for... Um... I think, well, he can actually... No, he can't kill it. He needs one more mana to kill the Sea Giant. But I think you play the Corruptor, uh, kill down the 2-1. You might take 8 damage, but you can kind of afford it at this stage. Yeah, you have the heal bot as well. So actually... Getting a, a dragon was important at the point. Okay, uh, that was a pretty exciting first game. Uh, it's still ongoing, but we have a, this, this start. In you think he's considering Void Terror after the attack? <laughs> he knows Trump doesn't have a BGH. You definitely have to consider that. I don't think that's the best play there. And you know that okay. Trump doesn't have multi giants as well. That's why he can just uh, attack. Well, there is a first DGH. He is running two, so that's fair. Like, that yeah. was obviously a very good card to get. This looks like a very, uh, very stable situation for Trump here. Uh, most of his mains have very low health, but um, that's a pretty good play. The Haunted Creeper into the Void Terror. Mm, yeah, you can, yeah, definitely. A 4 5 and 2 1 ones. But this only shows why this matchup is so good uh, for the Malagos Warlock. You have so many ways to deal with the situation. Uh, Carlos is nice as well. You could just kill one of the 1-1s. One yep. Probably end up trading the 5-2 into the 4-5. Hellfire not so attractive an option here. It's not. I think you can just uh, kill the 4-5 with a 5-2, kill the 1-1 one one with a 4-2, uh, play Healbot even. Yeah. Oh. It's stronger to play the Imp King boss, but you often don't get too much room to waste five mana on something, and this turn it kind of works out. I think I even like the tap better. Because... Okay. Um, you need more cards to make Malagos work? Yeah, and uh, you're not threatened by the empty board and two cards in hand. And you still do have that heal bot. What if it was like Leroy double power balloon? You would not expect that from the zoo. I mean, <laughs> and you definitely not play around that. Yeah. That was happening in the past, Grip. Yeah, it was. For those games. Oh, he's starting to get pretty low here. Um, that's eight. Was that that's, lethal? That might be lethal. Seven, fifteen. 15. Uh, that is lethal. Actually, that is that's lethal. actually lethal. Pretty Trump sick. wins. If he sees it. Yeah. It's adding six numbers. Usually lethal, you don't add that many. Trump is good at numbers. Yeah. Just counting it twice, three times maybe, just to be sure. Mm -hmm. Well, let's let's just count it here. So it's 10 damage in hand. It's exactly lethal. Yeah. You just need to attack first and then have fire. Yep. That's the own. And uh, soul fire is the last thing. Last. Yeah. So pretty good sequence. He sees the lethal and he sees the win. All right. That was a pretty good matchup to open. And uh, Trump definitely takes it. Not bad. Mm -hmm. Naguri has an extremely aggressive hand. This is basically going to be a classic aggressive hunter versus classic mid-range hunter. And the mid-range usually loses here. Yeah, it does. Um, you can come back maybe with a big Hamaster Ton. 
But... Yeah, I don't know if I like that attack. I feel like um, you want Nuguru to make the attack, and you just want a hero power to push for more damage. I think it's the right. Like you do, you do want to have the beast, and if you would get a Crocolisk, you will definitely play it. Like even if you get a one drop, you do play it to deal with this Mad Scientist. Yeah, but like. Oh man. All right. Uh, how... that, that changes things. Yeah. I wanted to mention uh, before you started talking that Anish the Hounds is one of the cards that's really important in this matchup, and uh, this is exactly think, the moment. Wait, I think you actually counter the trap. I don't think you clear. I think he is the last dog gate to test for uh, freeze. That's true. Um, that's pretty smart. Let's see if Trump actually yep. thinks about it. Excellent. Nice sequencing. Yeah, I was just thinking that um, the web spinner. I mean, if it draws in the attack, you basically do one more damage and take two less damage. If it gets pumped, which it did, uh, it's like you still just get one damage for free. It's really taking the chance on getting a two-drop beast. And I think there's like three decent ones that you'd want. I guess the parrot is even fine. Do you think... Yeah, parrot will be definitely fine. But do you think like Mad Scientist will re-attack in the web spinner? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. Okay. All right, so uh, Pilot Shredder, one of the great minions to come back. Um, but Nuguri is on the face plan at the moment. Yeah. A bit unlucky for him that he got double quick shot. Uh, even though it's a lot of damage, he will not be able to draw. Well, actually, I wanted to say that he will not be able to draw two cards out of quick shots, but this is so much burst at the moment. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Just goes all face and hopes for the best. So what can Trump really do here not to die? This is the... Yeah, I don't. Yeah, but without life gain and Trump being so far behind in the life total, uh, he's not even going to have time to play those kill commands, is he? Nope. He will not be able to get even close to lethal with the speed from Nogori. What do you think about the Shredder instead of uh, Quick Shot? You could do Hero Power Quick Shot. I think like at this moment, he threatens lethal with what he has. Um, Leopard Gnome, if it's uh, going to die, that's 2 damage, and next turn he deals 8. So only Lothab stops the death, or as Iron Bigal silencing the Leopard Gnome. So basically, Trump has no chance to win here. To not die here, actually. Not even talking about winning. Well, if he gets a Doomsayer here... He's still dead. <laughs> he oh, actually got a Doomsayer, <laughs> but he's still dead. <laughs> Yeah, play the high main. Oh man. Finally a Doomsayer, by the way. It's the first Wait. Time the tournament. Oh no. No, he's dead. No, no, no. I, w I was thinking, what if you do the Shredder and the Shredder dies and pops a Vitality Totem? But it wouldn't trigger because it would die at the start of your opponent's turn rather than the end of yours. That's right, yeah. So the high main is the best play here. Sacrificial high main. Well, you hope your opponent has like Sludge Belchers and high mains that you can actually deal with. But that's not the case, there is exactly 8 points of damage. Quick shot, quick shot, and Nuguri evens up the series. It's 1-1. One and one. That was a quick one. That was a quick one. And again, the prediction holds true. The, uh, the deck that we expected to win ends up uh, pulling through. The more aggressive deck uh, takes the Hunter Mirror. The slower Warlock deck takes the Warlock Mirror. Uh, the decks still unplayed in this final are Nuguri's Patron Warrior and Trump's Mech Shaman. Um, it feels like the Mech Shaman missed out on the Hunter matchup, though. Now the Mech Shaman uh, only has two matchups, and one of them is that Zoo deck, which I don't imagine it will do too well against. You do run double Defender Vargas, I believe, in Zoo, or do you? You might, you might actually play one. Mm. It depends. Uh, if Trump gets a normal start that those decks are getting, I think with Shaman he will actually steamroll the zoo, and uh, he can steamroll the warrior as well. But uh, It can, but I mean, does it generally do that? Well, if he gets a clunky hand with fire elementals, and it's not fast enough, the zoo can actually steamroll the Shaman. Because mm -hmm. this deck doesn't have many comeback mechanisms, he doesn't, yeah. he doesn't run a lightning storm. I think it will be closer to 50-50. Um, than we originally thought, the Shaman versus Warlock. Mm. With Shaman okay. versus Patron, I think Trump has an edge. Yeah, yeah, I, I agree with that. I just think the Zook is probably gonna take a win over the Shaman. 
And here is the zoo. Well, we'll get to see. Okay. Red Shock is pretty nice at removing some early game. But you don't keep a Fell Reaver, do you? You need damage earlier than that. You don't keep any of it. Okay. Yeah, you want the Cogmaster and... Oh man, that opening is actually pretty good. Wow. Okay. And, uh, Trump, and power... Trump has the hand. Yeah, he has the hand he, need, he needed. But is it the hand he deserved? <sighs> this is definitely the hand he needed. <laughs> Not sure if he deserved. I think at this point, after all those years of Hearthstone, he definitely deserved that hand. That all right, point. all right, all right. Um, mech. Oh my. Hmm. Hmm. You might actually want to mech warper coin annoyer Tron. Because if you play like mech warper, if you play anything else, it dies to a pump on the egg, right? Yeah, yeah. And you know, like when somebody plays an egg, they probably have an activator. Mm hmm. And with or nothing, Tron, nothing's great. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, well, I like when Mech Warper coin on Neutron, I believe. Next turn, you can play Power Mace and um, get something buffed. All right. That Doomhammer actually will be pretty good in this matchup. Just killing all the small minions, dealing with um, implosions. Yeah, that's true. And here we go. We're going to start some aggression, I imagine. Abusive Sergeant takes off the Divine Shield. Wait, what? Is, is this a normal card in the deck? Ragnaros? The Fire Lord? Yeah, do you normally yeah, play? Yeah, I've, I've seen this in this deck, yeah. Okay. Well, actually, we've seen it before because it got milled, but uh, I was kind of mm -hmm. surprised. I think, actually, the play is the Totem and play the Zapomatic. I don't think you really gain anything from the Power Mace. Do you? Well... If you if you played Power Mace, you will kill the two one, and then but you can kill the two one with the two three. Yeah, but you might actually want to go for face, or maybe even. Okay. Yeah, uh, I like it. Like you, you want to be aggressive. You want to be the one uh, forcing Warlock to trade into your minions. Mhm. Mm you also hope that there is no power overwhelming, but we, even with power overwhelming. You still uh, keep the Mech Warper, and you can deal a lot of damage there. Oh, wow. That's uh, that's pretty good. On point, on curve. All right. Um, well, what do we do here? I think it's just uh, it's that stage where we go face. Yeah, yeah, it certainly is. Uh, you play Zapomatic, Pilot Shredder, and just... No, I think you play Zapomatic, then attack and then play the Piloted Shredder. You don't want to buff the Piloted Shredder. It's too vulnerable to silence. It doesn't do anything this turn. It doesn't scale as well from the buff. What do you think about attacking first? And uh, maybe you, you buff a Noyotron, and if that happens, you will be in a situation where a Zapomatic will survive, possibly, as a free two and still deal six points of damage. Hmm. Well... This is an amazing turn. You actually get a free Doomgore. Nugori, yeah, you get a free Doom. You clear. Yeah, you, you do clear and end with a ridiculous board. We well, almost clear. You might not clear the two three or whatever comes out of the shredder. We'll see. Milhouse Mana Storm. Doomguard. <laughs> okay, that's a wow. Uh, but still, Trump is able to pack six points of damage. Um, oh, Fell Reaver? If you if you play the Doomhammer and deal six, you put your opponent ten. Next turn you can uh, attack for four again. If mm. you if you get like You're a little bit short with that, it like I think that what the Fell Reaver does is it slows down the game because Nuguri has to waste some of his creatures to attack into it, and what that accomplishes is just just makes it so Trump can draw into these spell answers. If he would go for the Doomhammer play, he will actually have uh, Dr. Bowman 7. Oh wow, okay. Um, yeah, I guess you go for File Elemental, uh, probably just 3 damage to face. Yep. 
And, uh, Same idea. Okay, that somehow worked out. Yeah, it just makes it so if you fire elemental here, you can't doom hammer next turn. So if you draw something really bad, you can't play Ragnaros on eight. But you might not really want to do that anyway, because if, if those one ones are still there, it's not really going to work. Yeah, Ragnaros is not that great versus this matchup, but you have a lot of burst cards that you can get. And uh, I'm not sure if Nagori is in a position to top anymore. Uh, well, he disagrees. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he just uh, instantly tapped. He needs minions to win the game, uh, and if he wanted to trade into Fire Elemental, and he needed to do that anyway. Okay, just um, playing your minions to have a chance to steal the win, but it's looking good for Trump. Yeah. I think it's, it's Doomhammer, Totem, go face. You will need one point of damage to win. Do you go face? I think you kill the juggler, it's too dangerous. Mm, there is uh, 5 plus 2. Seven points of damage. Okay, if you kill the juggler, you will put him at seven. And then next turn you just attack twice. So any burst card you can win still wins. Uh, you can just still wins you the game. Um, so actually juggler suggestion makes a lot of sense. Okay, juggler goes down. I'll be surprised if he kills the owl. Yeah, I think you have to go for face here. Well, if, again, if you kill the alley, prolong the game more, and that's kind of what he's been doing. But killing the owl doesn't change the much. You still take that two points of damage, and if you get a crackle next turn and you roll low, you will not have lethal. If you attack face here, you will have lethal with crackle. Mm -hmm. Juggler into flame. Oh man, <laughs> you don't want to see that. <laughs> Okay. So at this point, you just hope there is nothing. The Trump has a... Um... Oh, he actually didn't draw into lethal. No, he didn't. Uh, he's going to want like a taunt totem here to prevent some of the damage. It is not a taunt totem. He's going to play out his hand. Again, I would kill the knife juggler here. We've seen one PO, we've seen double doom guard. Is there anything else that... Nug oh, Nug Nug he wants to prevent uh, a tap here. Uh, how much damage is that on board? That is seven. Seven. PO is not enough. Um, nothing is actually no enough. Doom Gur um, Actually, Defender Vargas would be alright, but this is not Defender Vargas, so mm -hmm. um, Gori is dead, and Trump actually got that game. That was Doom Hammer seals That was pretty close. Uh, the Shaman does take it. I think I have to credit the uh, the Fell River play. Um, the Fell River play really slowed down the game enough to where Trump could really uh, just really start chipping away at just uncontrollable damage. Um, yeah. So, yeah, really good stuff. Trump is on match point for the tournament, guys. For the tournament. For me, it's really amazing that he actually took this game with the... Uh, with the Doomhammer. A card that mm -hmm. I was laughing at because there is so much weapon removal in the current metagame that it seems like you're just... Um, Going just wasting it, yeah. yeah, totally wasting it. Uh, but uh, it actually won him the game, and it might win him the whole tournament. He just needs to win with the hunter now. Yep, yeah. uh, the hunter is a pretty solid build. Uh, Trump has played a lot of this hunter. Uh, he has to go through Zoo, which I think it's okay at, and it has to go through Patron Warrior, which is uh, okay. All right. at. Yeah, that's all right. Okay, so Hunter versus Grim Warrior Patron. is yes, Grim Patron. Man. Trump's running the web spinners. I know the hybrid hunter is like an even matchup. How does the mid-range? Does the mid-range change anything? Well, Hal Master is actually pretty good. Um, if the warrior doesn't have weapons, you can get a pretty good start with uh, buffed minions. And um, mm. if you get an early high main, you can get wow. a bit more aggressive. It's a really good start, though. From both players, in fact. Yeah, both players have really good hands at the moment. Um, Aqualite of Pain is super important for Nogori, he wants to draw the cards. He can stop the aggression, he might even hard cast the frauding and that weapon. Well, <laughs> the ghoul kind of countered the situation here. Eh, not too much. I think it's still fine. I, again, I don't like the attack. Oh, doggy! Yeah, there's a hound. Mad Scientist uh, played early. 
just okay. get the secret and uh, make your draws better. Well, this is pretty good for Nagori. That freeze trap is often very annoying, very um, opposing combo situations. Ooh, Nagori decides to try to keep his ghoul, uh, and that's really going to get punished here. Yeah, because of the eagle horn bow, but uh, sometimes you need to take the gamble. Hmm. Okay, and that is the freezing trap, right? Uh, I would imagine so. Was Trump running anything else? I think he was running a snake. It is I freezing think... though, we have confirmation it's freezing. Okay, I think he is running one snake. Okay. We've seen an explosive trap uh, when his hunter deck got banned and he actually got the game loss. Remember right. those times versus Life Coach when Trump actually lost the first game yeah. because he yeah, yeah, yeah. submitted incorrect list. He's going with the juggler, which seems uh, pretty aggressive. I think I would have considered the Mad Scientist and the Haunted Creeper. By not playing the Mad Scientist, it actually um, really seems like there may only be freezings in this deck. Yeah, um, I'm thinking like if he try if he tries to force the the weapon attack, that's why he played the juggler. And um, exactly as you said, like Mad Scientist might not be good because of uh, single freezing. Looks like a pretty damn good Houndmaster. Followed with the high main. Uh, Trump's looking in a really good position. Um, while the Warrior is amassing cards, while they are combo cards, we're looking at five mana crystals right now, and that's not really enough to do anything yet. If he's going to, to use Executes, he might not be able to deal with the high main. He has the inner range, though. It is both executes. Oh man. So how do you deal with the high main now? Uh, you don't. This looks pretty good for Trump. Like, I'm trying to imagine what will Nugari need to win this game. Torison, I think. Into Patron, but... Mm -hmm. He's probably Rules pretty sorry about those executes. Yeah. It's a cool task for one of the 1-1s, one -ones, trying to get some presence on the board and maybe developing a creature that he wants to freeze off. Oh man, a second home master? Is that really the the play here though? You've seen double execute, uh, so if you go home master on the... On no, the I think you main... do Lothed here. Because you can, you can clear... Oh, he's not even clear the board, he's just going for damage. And that's fine too. Oh my yeah. god, that's so much damage. Next turn, you have Houndmaster plus the Hero Power, which is an extra 4 on top of your 15. So, it should be enough, like... Um, um, 15 plus 4, 19. Uh, he can armor up, but... Well, this... you can charge a Frothing into the 2-2 two -two to stay alive. And it looks like he's going to do that. Right? Um, oh no, that's exactly lethal still. No, wait, because he loses 4 attack, actually. Um, that's 11 plus 4, 15. Yeah, it is. That's exactly lethal still. Oh, man. How so about this, that? That's it. Trump is our winner. Trump is the HTC Recharged Champion. According to Nimsh, it's the first time Trump has ever won anything. I will need to uh, get a background <laughs> check on Trump, but... The first major event he won. That's All the right. Recharged. Well, congratulations to Trump. Uh, takes home 5k... I and, think it's actually uh, 2500. Oh. Because the 5k is... is the price pool. We have 25. Oh, 5k is the price pool. Okay, yeah, yeah. My mistake. My mistake. Take some 2500. Half the price pool. It's still good. And all the glory. All the glory. Splendor is there. No glory for new gory, guys. <laughs> Doesn't go all the way. Not this time. Oh, come on. Some glory for new gory as well. All it's... right. We'll give him some glory. We'll give him some glory. Overall, some really exciting games. Um, I mean, uh, people people talk about you know how the current state of constructed, the current state of the decks is pretty stale, but uh, that was really a pretty sick tournament with players trying shaman, with players trying priest, with making it work with very very complicated turns and games and matchups. Uh, that was really quite exciting. So I'm, I'm glad to have uh, cast this one with you, Nimsh, and. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry for the technical difficulties and all that kind of stuff. I know you guys missed some moments, but again, um, it was largely uh, fault with just the, the Twitch stuff. And uh, we did our best, guys. We did our best. I hope you guys enjoyed the show. 
thanks again for uh, HTC making the event happen, sponsoring the event. And uh, again, if you guys do want to check out some HTC products, they're doing uh, they're doing 50 bucks off their phones. You guys can check that promo offer in the description of the stream. Yeah, excellent stuff. Again, big big grass to Trump. Yeah, that was an amazing tournament for him. And uh, well, we had two TSM players in the final, so congrats to your to your team. Um, and we have an HTC sponsored player actually take it home. So I'm sure HTC is, uh, is happy about that. Yeah. And, and you know, uh, maybe next time, Crip, maybe we'll have a third edition, hopefully. Uh, it was a lot of pleasure casting with you as well. And um, I'm happy about the whole tournament. It was a yeah, lot of exciting about the whole tournament. Yeah, there was, there really, really was. Again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the show. Maybe we'll see you guys for HTC 3. We'll see. And uh, that's it from us. That's it from HTC. Hope you guys had fun. We'll see you guys later.